Hi, welcome to Curacao. Welcome to the Mongi Matudo Library. You must be Neftali. Yes, that's me. Nice to meet you, Neftali. I never knew that Curacao was part of the Dutch Kingdom. Yes, and it has been for over 300 years. Come in. What a beautiful building. What's the story here? The building we're standing in is Plantation House Roikotoche. It was built around 1735. And do you see that lady over there? Let me show you. This is Ina Dankmeyer Maduro. And in 1974, she, her mother, and her husband founded the Mongi Maduro Foundation in honor of her deceased father. Wow, okay. That's more than 45 years ago. But what kind of foundation are we talking about? Well, in 1905, Ina's father took up a new hobby. He started collecting books, newspaper articles, and other documents on the island's historical literature and Jewish history. And, well, over the years, his hobby grew into quite a collection. So, are you saying that this collection started over 100 years ago? Yes, and it's still growing. I still don't quite understand what the foundation is for. Well, Ina's father wanted his collection to be used and shared, and that's also one of the goals of the foundation. So the foundation was established to make sure as many as people as possible have access to this collection? Exactly. And how did it come to this? Over the years, uh, the collection grew into a source of information on the history of the Sephardic Jews of Curacao. And people come here to do research on those specific subjects? Yes, they come here from all over the world. And upon request, our librarians can send information by email. So, can I see the collection here in this building? No, not here. I don't understand. Please explain. Ina wanted to preserve the collection and make it more accessible for researchers. So, at the age of 87, she commissioned two architects, Leongo Juliana and Kees den Heijer, to design a building that would integrate with the natural surroundings and with the plantation house. Wow, a hidden treasure. Absolutely. Can we go in? I can't wait to see what the library has to offer. Of course. So this building was completed in 2010, and that's when they moved the collection from the plantation house to this new building. Wow, what a contrast between these two buildings but at the same time, they fit beautiful together. I agree, the architects did an awesome job. I'm taking you to our reference room, which is where most visitors enter the library, and also where they get to ask all the questions that they have. And who is this young lady? This is Nicole, one of our librarians. Nice to meet you, Nicole. Quite a building you work in. Thank you. Besides the social cultural history of the Sephardic Jews of Curacao, this library also holds topics on the social cultural history of the island of Curacao. The focus points are art, literature, and Papiamento, our local language. So, how many books can I take home to study? Well, since this is a reference library, you don't get to take any books, but you can come here to read and study and upon request, scans can be made. So visitors need to come here in person? Not entirely. We have on-site and online visitors, mostly researchers, but also writers and individuals looking into their family history. Can you show me some books? Yes, I can. These books, for example, were partly researched right here, in this library. Cool. It is, isn't it? I want to introduce you to someone. Hi. This is Arfin. Hi Arfin, nice to meet you. Arfin works at the Jewish Historical Cultural Museum here in Curacao. It's located on the premises of one of the oldest surviving synagogues in the Americas, also known as SNOA. And the library helps her how? To do research for the museum and with a, uh, an exhibition that they're working on right now. Great Arfin, good luck with your research. Where are you taking me now? I want to show you another part of our collection. Why is there no direct sunlight coming into this building? Remember how I told you before that young Mongi took up a new hobby, collecting newspaper articles? Well, 
Here in our closed reference room, you can see the result of that hobby. We have more than 400 topics on the uh, Antillian and Jewish community. And to answer your question, paper doesn't like sunlight. But how does a researcher access these without visiting the library in person? These are not all digitized yet, but you can contact us through Facebook and email and where possible we'll provide you with uh, scans. So where are we headed now? Uh, to the depot. This is where the heart of our collection is safeguarded. The humidity and the temperature are fully controlled to make sure that this material is maintained in the best conditions possible. Is that really necessary? Yes, it's the only way to preserve the almost 10,000 books, maps, music sheets, photographs, invitations, dinner menus, and so much more. Any local materials? Absolutely, come on. So, we also hold collections of renowned local authors, such as Pierre Laufer and Louise Dahl. They played a very important role in developing Papiamento, our local language, one of the pillars of Curacao's cultural identity. Do you have a favorite item here in the depot? I'm so glad you asked. I've asked Lian to help me with this. Hi, Lian. Hi, Lian. Lian is the documentalist of our cultural heritage collection, and she's also custodian of the archives of the Curacao Synagogue. What is that? This is a ketubah. A ketu what? A ketubah is a marriage contract in Jewish civil law. And this one is unique because it was written in Rashi script, a form of Hebrew writing. It's a Sephardic semi-cursive way of writing, and this one is from 1832. Why is this your favorite piece? Well, are you kidding me? Look at the delicate ornaments, the writing, and it's so old. It's beautiful. Yeah, I can imagine you liking it. I really don't like saying this, but my time is up. Already? There's so much more to see. I'll definitely come back. You're very welcome to come back.